Tina, it's your first sugarcane Sunday in our beautiful city of Melbourne. Tell us what you've got for the Rum Fam today. Yes, it is indeed my first sugarcane Sunday in Melbourne. Thank you very much, guys, for having us. Um, we are here with Appleton Estate from Jamaica. Beautiful rum that was born in the heart of Jamaica, in a unique terroir, very beautiful valley surrounded from mountain, and the perfect microclimate to grow sugarcane. So that's what we really would like to offer to our friends that are coming over. 1749 is when we started actually uh, legally selling rum in Jamaica. Our core range, 12 years old, 21 years old, you name them. What is really, really cool about Jamaican rum is got like this traditional funky flavor profile. So it's got like a nice Jamaican punch, but at the same time, it's super round and smooth. You got like this creation from our master blender, Joyce Spence, she's the uh, first female master blender in history. First female master blender ever. What is pretty cool about Jamaican rum and especially Appleton Estate is that we do not add not even a single touch of sugar to our bottle. No sugar, no caramel, no spices. What you see is what you get. It's a very genuine spirit. Talking about what gives flavor to our rum together with the beautiful terroir of our sugar cane is the aging process. And for Jamaican rum, unlikely some other uh, style. If you see a number on the bottle, for example, you have Appleton Estate 12, which is my personal favorite in this lineup. Every single drop of this rum has been aged for at least 12 years in our warehouses in Jamaica. Beautiful. I hope you guys will come down, enjoy it, have some little treats together with us. You've heard it from the master, Lucas. Come and have a run with him. Come and experience Jamaica in the middle of Melbourne. Thanks, guys. Run fam, I'm here with the boys from Bricks. I'm here with James and Aaron, and they're gonna tell us a little bit about their product, made in Sydney. So James, tell me about your relationship with rum. Personally, I have a very long relationship with rum. Uh, drinking rum from, from way back uh, and me and some friends and, and my now business partners uh, we grew up together we were mates all the way through school through through our, our 20s and stuff and uh, we, we have now uh, joined this little plight that a lot of people are on to try and bring a bit of uh, energy and life back to rum in Australia a lot of people here would think that in this country where we're, uh, we're a bit behind the eight ball with, with regards to rum. So we're trying to bring some locally made products back, uh, sourcing all our ingredients in Australia and, uh, and produce some really top notch Aussie Sydney made rums, take it out to the world and show them what we can do. So what about you Aaron? You, this is the first sugarcane Sunday in Melbourne. What would be your invitation to the rum family? My invitation would definitely be come Come and embrace and come and get involved with like Australian craft uh, distilling. Like uh, for us, we're, we're seven months old. Like we op we started the operation like in September last year, and we're trying to like uh, grab a hold of everyone and like uh, bring bring them in, educate them, and uh, get them involved in like what's new and what's exciting and the fresh like uh, clean side of like rum that's happening here. Uh, you know, bringing it forward out of the dark ages, like uh, all that fun stuff, all the pirates, that's cool, that's, 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 that's history, we're remaking history, so uh, yeah, come, come enjoy what we're already enjoying here in Melbourne today. You've heard it from Aaron and James, we've led the dark history and we're part of the evolution of rum, come and have a drink with the boys. Rum fam, I'm here with Jonathan and Taylor from the Les Nouveaux Distilleurs and Jonathan's going to showcase what he's got for you today. Sure, so today we have a new rum onto the Australian market called Pacto Navio. So effectively it celebrates the 1815 trade agreement between the Spanish and the French to open up the Navio trade route so that the uh, French could bring wine from Europe to Cuba. They would then empty it, fill it full of rum and send it back to Europe. So we have a brand new rum to the market that's aged in ex bourbon casks and then finished in French sauteen wine casks. Good price, nice and spicy, good sweetness, great sipping rum. So Taylor, tell us about you know your experience so far. First Melbourne sugarcane Sunday, and what's your invitation to the rum fam? 
it's just a great uh, great opportunity for you know anyone who's getting into rum, whether they're like beginner or an expert, to come down, meet some of the some of the people who make the rum, some of the people who sell it, learn a bit, taste a whole bunch. There's so many amazing brands here, taste some incredible rums, just like chill out and have a few drinks on a Sunday. It's fantastic. What a great invitation. Come and chill out with the boys, guys. Rum fam, I'm here with one of the biggest rum queen in the industry, Joey Chai from Barrowman's. Babe, tell us what rum means to you. Rum, Jesus, this is really personal, I have to say. Um, rum is so important to me and it's my hospitality starting point. And also it taught me a lot of how you should enjoy the culture, the drinking style and share the love. Go rum family. So Joey, we're here with an amazing range of rum. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what Diplomatico means? Diplomatico is actually from uh, Venezuela. It tastes like how it sounds, diplomatic. It's really smooth, amazing, independent family owned. Um, it's been with us like for more than 10 years in Australia. And thanks to you guys, um, Australia is also one of the very first um, like the top two country consumed it from Medico in Asia Pacific. Woo! Um, the idea is that we wanted to create really sort of artisanal at the same time modern distillation process of rum. And we really craft and you know proud sell what we do it. So and the rum speaks for himself, it's really tasty. So now Joey, this is the first Melbourne Sugarcane Sunday. What is your invitation to our rum family? I think this is amazing. So we're in a golden, golden age of um, spirit. So now is the time that we give, you know, you guys support us and drink more rum, learn more rum. Yeah. So you've heard it from the rum queen. Now is the time. Come and have a drink with her. Thanks, guys. Hi, my name is Noah and uh, I work for Sabaco. Sabaco is a distribution company who brings a lot of amazing rum to Australia. We have about 40 to 50 different rum, from rum agricole to traditional to spice rum. So I'm gonna show you a few. We've got uh, Marguerite Allon, which is one of the best uh, rum agricole you can find in the market. Uh, we sell also rum from uh, Saint Lucia, which is called the Saint Lucia Royal Oak which is, has been aged between 7 and 12 years in American oak barrels. It's actually one of my favorite rum. Uh, we have a bit of uh, spice rum, so we have Beach House from uh, Mauritius. They have two rums, they have the gold one and they have a white spice rum, which you can get a lot of lychee, grapefruit from it. And uh, you have also Dos Maderas from Spain. They have the luxurious version which is aged 10 years in American oak barrel and 5 years in cherry cask. And then you have another one that's called the 5 plus 5. So like the name says, 5 years in the Caribbean, 5 years in Spain. It's really delicious. We're winning. What would be your invitation to our beautiful rum fam? Oh, I would say, you know, when it comes to rum, don't even think about it. Just come to us, find some very beautiful rum. It's a very... A beautiful way to learn about the history of rum, which is very deep and very rich. You can learn the difference between rum agricole, rum traditional, spice rum. Oui, bonjour les francophones de Melbourne. Bah, je m'appelle Nua et venez voir du, du rum avec nous. On a une énorme collection de rum Martinique et Guadeloupe. Uh, venez. You've heard it from the men, so come and have some rum with us. <laughs> 